Time now for my takeaway. The controversy surrounding the IRS may be more than a year old, but of course we're still talking about it. On Monday, the IRS commissioner testified before Congress. A week after the IRS told Senate investigators that two years of emails had disappeared in a computer crash back in 2011. While this certainly doesn't make the Obama administration or the IRS look very good, it's important to remember what this actual story is about because it's gotten lost. The question at hand is whether explicitly political organizations should be filing as tax-exempt social welfare groups under the tax code. And both political parties are pointing blame. Republicans say that just conservative sounding groups were targeted by the IRS. That's why they want to see those emails. Democrats have responded by claiming, hey, liberal groups were targeted too. But here's the story many are missing. Why should primarily political organizations uh, get a taxpayer exemption, basically get a handout from the tax code? Both sides are in an uproar because they couldn't take advantage of a borderline shady way to raise money for political purposes or launder money for political purposes. So while the IRS is certainly not a good guy here, they've been terrible about being fourth company, forthcoming. Are there any actual real victims? Folks, this scandal is not black and white since, frankly, two wrongs don't make a right. We know what really is uh, working here for Republicans, beating up the IRS, good for the base, good politics there, makes for great fundraising emails. But let's remember what the controversy itself is about.